I'm always being asked what is my favorite role and what is the best role in Red Dead Online. So I decided to do a little video that would go through what I think is all the best to worst roles in Red Dead Online. I also took a poll on what is everybody else's favorite role in Red Dead and also what would you like to see expanded and the results are kind of interesting. So let's rank all the roles worst to best in Red Dead Online. Before we get into the video though, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Ridge Wallet. They're actually running a special promotion from today right up to the 7th of December 2021, where if you use my coupon DIRTY, you will get 15% off. This is perfect timing for those of you who may have been thinking of getting this for a Christmas gift for somebody, and it really is a great little wallet. It's small and compact and even has a money clip so you can store your cash and has over 40,000 5 star reviews. It also has RFID blocking and comes in over 30 different colors and styles. The code word DIRTY normally gets you 10% off but again running up to the 7th of December will get you 15% off. So the way we're going to structure this video is I'm going to run through the list of worst to best roles in my opinion. This isn't from the perspective of a new player but someone that has all of the roles fully leveled up and looking back what I think were the best roles and the ones I enjoyed the most. That said though I will cover what I think would be the best roles to get first as a new player playing the game. I also did a poll to get feedback from the community to find out what your favourite is so we'll go over that as well as what everybody would like to see being expanded. Be sure to let me know your thoughts below in the comments and if you like this kind of content be sure to subscribe. Okay, so let's start with the first or the worst role in my opinion. So number five is the naturalist role which I don't think is going to be a shock to most people as this is the one role that does get the most slack in the community. I feel bad saying it is the worst role because the truth is I do like the role and it does play well with other roles such as the trader. The cost of this role is 25 gold bars and it adds a host of new legendary animals to the map in both in terms of random events as well as missions you can go on. I still love when I see the little gold question mark appear on my mini map today and it honestly made the trader role just so much better and less tedious to do as those legendary pelts do get you a lot of supplies for the trader role. You can also hand those pelts into Gus and he will skin them and make little coats for you to wear. That said, a lot of these coats are very copy and paste and some of them are kind of cool but a lot of them are just kind of ridiculous. Like I mean, the bison coat basically shrinks the bison head on and it just doesn't look right. They could have really made it so you could craft different parts of an outfit with different legendary animals instead of just copy and pasting the different types of coats with different skins. You can also make money with the crazy Harriet lady by selling samples to her. You can even build up a collection of stamps in the animal field guide and get a nice bit of money back for dropping in those samples. That said, it is quite tedious to do. They also had the vitalism studies which allowed you to become a certain animal for a limited period of time, which kind of could have been a cool idea, but they really shot themselves in the foot. If you were able to turn into something like a cougar and go off the radar so people wouldn't know it's an actual player and then stalk people as a cougar, that would be kind of cool. But instead you just get more tame animals and you're limited to a certain time playing them and you're limited to a certain location and you have to collect flowers before you could even become one. It's too much hoops to jump through just to play for a couple of minutes as a bunny rabbit so you might do it once to see what it's like and then just forget about it. That said, this role does unlock the wilderness camp which you can get the fast travel pamphlet with that which is a complete game changer and probably one of the main reasons to have this role. Also, if you're a bit of a completionist like me, it is nice to go through the field guide and try to get every single thing that you can. They could have easily added a special item at the end of that for people that did do this or at least a trophy but you know, another missed opportunity for Rockstar. Overall, I think the natural role could have had a lot of potential but I just don't think it was executed correctly at all. And although I wouldn't be completely opposed to an expansion of the role as I think there could be a lot of potential in it if done correctly, but at the moment it's coming in at number 5 on the role rankings. Number 4 on my list of ranking the roles is the collector role. It costs 15 gold bars and although it is a really good role to get it to start if you want to rank up quick and get some cash, it just to me it is not the most exciting of roles. The reason I put it at 4 and not 5 is because I do like the fact that you can rank up and get XP very quickly which for me comes in very useful when I want to unlock all the items for a quick draw pass. And although the initial buy in for all the equipment is quite high, once you have everything you start making a lot of money and once you have the collector roll, money just doesn't seem to be an issue after that. Because even if you're not explicitly searching for things, you're just looting items off people and it all adds up and it does make money very easily for you. 
a lot of those collections as well have like fixed spawns so if you look through those collections to see what items you need you can go on and find an interactive map online then find the ones that you need and just complete those collections that said uh, this this role becomes kind of redundant once you have a certain amount of cash and after that you're just not going to be bothered because it is quite grindy and it is probably the more boring of grinds in the game. At the start though it is definitely interesting because it'll take you to some cool areas in the map that you mightn't have explored before. But as I said, after a while you just you just won't be doing collections. You also don't get any gold for selling collections or anything, so that's another reason that I'm not a big fan of doing stuff on this roll. But it does come in at number four because it does give you a chance to level up your character really quick if you ever need to, as well as make some good cash on the way. For number three on the list, it's going to be the trader roll. I used to absolutely hate the trader roll at the start because it was so tedious, but thanks to the naturalist roll, the trader roll became much better to do. It can still be a bit tedious to get up to level five and level 10, but once you have that ranked up to level 20, it does give you a chance to be able to make a lot of money by selling goods. And with the inclusion of the legendary animals, it doesn't take that long to get supplies at all. What really brought this into third place though was the camp upgrades you can get. For any high level player that has pretty much all the guns, you really do need the gun locker to store the ones that you're not going to be using there. Also, the camp stew is awesome to give you gold cores for three in-game days. I always like to make that stew when I log in. Also, the fast travel post, once you get to level 65, is a great thing to have, as you can quickly come and go from your camp for really cheap. It also gives you a chance to be able to get a camp dog, which is a cool addition to have. Some of the little things that I really don't like about this is that the sales have to be done in a public lobby, which just opens yourself up to some sort of annoyance from random griefers. If you don't have the naturalist role, it can be extremely tedious to build up those supplies, and Harriet will hate you if you go hunting and killing a lot of animals. The top two were definitely a bit harder to separate, but this is what I landed on. For number two, I'm going to put the Moonshiner roll. It is a great all-round roll. Uh, it gives you a bit of a property. It's not your property, but you have a property where you can upgrade it to make a bar where you can hang out with your friends and you can play some music and drink some booze. It also came with a little story arc that you can play through, which I thought was really cool as well. And it is the closest thing we have in the game to passive income. You just have to tell Marcel what you want him to make, give him a bit of time, come back, then grab it and take it to where it needs to go. As long as you know how to drive the car without damaging any of the bottles, you can make a lot of money off this fairly quickly. Again, though, it's a little grindy if you're focusing on doing it, but with a combination of all the other roles going on, it really does add a nice variety to the whole package also when i think of what i kind of like from a red dead dlc this is kind of it you know it comes with a property it comes with a few story missions and it comes with a way of making money so you can progress and buy things i did kind of like the variance that you can get in by ranking it up but i wasn't as much of a fan with the clothing in that role the thing with this role and all of the roles preceding it is none of these roles can earn you gold except for like the little daily challenges that you can do and that is definitely one of the reasons that i think my favorite role in the game is the bounty hunter role it'll cost you 15 gold bars for the standard license and an extra 15 gold bars for the prestigious license and together this really does make a good role you start off by getting the one two or three star bounties from the board that progresses onto the legendary bounties which are quite interesting missions to play once you get the prestigious license then you can play the infamous bounty missions which i really like i just kind of wish they got rid of that stupid arbitrary cooldown each bounty board has like one three part infamous bounty mission and once you do the first one you have to wait for the cooldown to do the second one which is just really does kill the flow of the missions in my opinion and it makes no sense like you can just play a different mission and earn the same money so it just needlessly breaks the flow of the game for no really good reason there was also another three legendary bounties as well with the prestigious license which were very interesting missions to play too there also was better things i thought unlocking while you ranked up the role for example the gun tosses that you can do i think they're kind of cool also the eagle eye while sprinting and galloping is really useful to have as well but just in general i think the reason i do prefer this role and why it's ranked number one is it's just more fun to play Although the missions are all just go and get the bounty and bring them back, there is a bit of variety in how you do it. And not only do you earn a decent little bit of cash while doing this, you also get gold, which is something none of the other roles do. And once you've been playing Red Dead Online for a while, cash isn't a problem to make. You'll, you'll have enough. It's gold is the thing that you'll be looking for the most because most of the things that you want to buy will probably cost you gold. 
If you're a new player coming to this, I would probably go with either the Bounty Hunter role or the Collector role first. It depends how you want to play. If you want to rank up your character as fast as possible, the Collector role might be the way to go. But if you want to kind of take it a little bit slower while earning gold on the way, you should go with the Bounty Hunter role. Personally, when I'm starting a new character, I nearly always go with the Bounty Hunter role because I want to earn that gold while I play. If you want to get the Moonshiner roll, you're going to have to get the Trader roll first. And without the Natural's roll, that Trader roll can be extremely grindy. If you have a friend that's already playing Red Dead Online and they're going to help you out, then you can reach rank 5 fairly quickly, especially if your friend has the Natural's roll and they can throw some legendary animal carcasses or pelts into your supplies. When I decided to record this video, I actually put up a poll on my channel to see what everyone else thought, what was their favorite roll. And looking at the feedback, like it was clearly the bounty hunter roll everyone seems to be in agreement it's probably the better roll the next down is the moonshiner or the trader roll it seems to be split at 16 percent each with the moonshiner roll coming in at 14 percent so it really does seem like people just have different preferences for different aesthetics when they're making the cash for red Dead online and the natural roll only got two percent which doesn't surprise me that did get a lot of um, heat when it first landed and I don't know, I, I think it's a little unfair to hear it got because I don't think it's the terrible role at all and I think all the roles do work well together to Rockstar's credit. Like no, there's none that you go, this is absolutely the only role I want to play because they all do work really well together. So for example, you might do a few legendary animal missions so you can get some pelts and then give them into your trader role so that you can build up some supplies. While you're waiting for that to build up, you might pop over to Marcel and tell him put on some moonshine. Then you'll do some bounty missions while you're waiting for that to build up. And while doing those bounty missions, you want to maximize the payout. So you're going to wait a certain amount of time. And while you're waiting that time, you're going to do a few collections. Another thing I found really interesting is a few months ago, I asked what role would you like to see being expanded? And a huge amount of you said the trader role. And that does make a lot of sense, I think, because there's a lot of potential where the trader role could go. You could end up owning a stall or a shop and selling your wares there, or you could end up crafting better, more unique items from your hunting. Personally, I think the natural role has a bit more potential as well, but I can understand why a lot of people wouldn't be too eager to see that. Uh, I personally wouldn't be too eager to see a collection role extension because, well... Like, I know half of that role is basically you stealing from people. I mean, you just walk into someone's house and just grab their, their expensive loot and walk out the door. So you could maybe go down the whole looting and robbery and stealth thing with it, but I, I just don't know. We already got the, the Bounty Hunter expansion, so I don't think we need another one for a while. And yeah, I wouldn't be too quick to want a Moonshiner expansion either. But that's just my opinions on all this. I'd really love to hear your opinions. If you were ranking them worst the best how would you rank them and also let me know below in the comments what role would you like to see getting expanded if they're expanding roles i do love hearing from you guys and i love reading your comments as most of you know as i do go through the comments and reply when i can so please do let me know massive thanks to everyone who supports this channel especially to the members you guys are awesome and again thanks for ridge wallet for supporting this video again they're giving that 15 percent bonus right up to the 7th of december 2021 so if you were thinking of getting one that would be a good time to get it before then all right people i will catch you all in the next 